Hey guys, it's Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. First of all, happy weekend guys and today's video is going to be very exciting and also fun because I have got a brand new mystery box to show you all. It's been quite some time, right? We haven't done any mystery box videos. Well, this one over here is from Oppo as you might have already seen in the video's title. So what happened is a few days ago, Oppo India reached out to me said, and said that, Hey Vimal, we just launched some of our brand new range of products. Would you like to check them out? And I was like, hell yeah, why not? I would love to make videos on them. And well, here you go. We've got a package from them. So guys, I'm like, I have no idea what's inside this box and that is making me like very curious to unbox and show it to you all. I hope you also will have like quite fun and you know, entertainment watching this video. So let's quickly open this package and see what they have sent us. So let's get started. All right, so here's the mystery box that we got from Oppo. There's nothing written on the package. So let's quickly unbox and see what they sent us. Let me grab my knife and cut this packaging. Okay, here we go. Oh, what do we have over here? Looks like we've got some brand new TWS from the brand. And there's not actually one box. We've got like a couple of products in the package. Let me take them out one by one and show you. The first one over here is Oppo's new Enco W11, which is a truly wireless earbuds priced at 2,999 rupees. The second box is also a TWS, the Enco W31. Now these are a bit special as they have in-ear detection and even a special bass mode toggle. So that is something I'm quite interested in and whoa, you guys see this? We've got some smartphones as well in the package and not one, but we've got two of them in the box. Let me quickly take them out and show you. So that's it, these were the 4 products Oppo has sent us today. They've sent their brand new A12 and A52 smartphones. The A12 is a budget phone priced under 10,000 rupees, while the A52 is a mid-range phone. So guys, the deal is I can't unbox all these 4 products in the same video, right? As that will become like very lengthy. So what I'll do is, in this video, I'll unbox and show you both these brand new phones, the A12 and A52, and have our first look and overview on it. And coming to the TWS, they're actually quite interesting. So what I'll do is, I'll make separate reviews on them in a different video. So first, let's check out Oppo's budget phone, the A12. It comes in this sort of box packaging, has the A12 branding and a picture of the phone on the front. The one they sent us is a 4 plus 64 GB variant. It's also available in 3 plus 32, I believe. Going to the back side, we've got some of its highlights. It's got a 6.22 inch HD plus water drop display, comes with dual rear cameras, a 4230 mAh large battery, and even has fingerprint sensor and face unlock support. If you ask me about the CPU, it's got MediaTek's Helio P35 octa-core CPU. Well, those were some of its specs. So let's quickly unbox and see what do we have on the inside. On opening the box, there's an accessory box at the top. Okay, you get some paperwork in there and a free clear case for the phone. It's a TPU case and looks of good quality. Keeping that aside, here's the phone Oppo A12. Nicely packed. Let me just remove this outer cover. There you go, Oppo A12 in the hand. Damn guys, that looks nice for the price. So before we talk about the phone in detail, let's also check out the different accessories you get with the phone. You get a 10 watt power adapter for charging and a regular micro USB cable bundle with the charger. That's it, these are all the items you got in the package. So now let's also quickly unbox the second phone as well and then we'll have a detailed overview on both of them side by side. The A52 also comes in a very similar packaging, has the Oppo branding on the front and this model comes with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 GB of storage. Talking about the specs, it's got a 6.5 inch 1080p Neo display, has AI quad cameras at the back, a huge 5000 mAh battery and also comes with a 18 watt fast charger in the box. This phone is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 octa-core CPU. So let's quickly unbox it and check it out. Okay, a similar kind of packaging with an accessory box at the top that includes all the documents and also a free clear case for the phone. Keeping that aside, here's the Oppo's new A52 nicely wrapped in this cover. Let me just remove it. The phone is available in two colors, twilight black and stream white. The one we have right now is a black color variant. Whoa, now that is one beautiful looking phone. Very nice. We'll come back to the phone in a moment guys. First, let's check out the accessories. You get an 18 watt fast charger in the box, USB Type-C cable and a free wired earphones in the box. That's it, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let's finally check out both these phones from Oppo. We've got the A12 budget phone on the left and the A52 mid-range phone on the right. 
So first we'll talk about the A12 and then we'll move on to the next one. The Oppo's A12 has a 6.22 inch 720p TFT LCD display with Gorilla Glass 3 protection. There's a 5 megapixel selfie camera with a water drop notch and an earpiece above that. Going to the back, this is how it looks like. It's got a nice looking 3D diamond blaze design, that is what Oppo calls it, and has a textured finish when you touch it, and also looks good for the price. The back is made of a polycarbonate material, there's an Oppo logo here, a fingerprint scanner about that, and a dual camera setup at the back. It's got a 13 megapixel f2.2 primary camera and a 2 megapixel secondary camera for depth sensing. And yes, there's an LED flash as well. The overall build quality of the phone looks decent and comes with a 4230 mAh battery. Now let's move on to the next one, the Oppo A52. So guys, as soon as you hold it, you get that premium feel in the hand and also love those Constellar type reflections on the backside. Coming to the front, there's a 6.5 inch Full HD Plus Neo display with a hole punch camera to the left. One more thing I forgot to mention is, both these phones come with the pre-applied screen guards on them. So it's got a 16 megapixel f2.0 front camera and an earpiece over here. That's it about the front side, now going to the back. We've already seen how it looks like, right? The back is made of a polycarbonate material, has a Oppo branding and a quad camera setup at the top. There's a 12 megapixel f1.7 primary camera, an 8 megapixel f2.0 ultra wide angle camera. There's also a 2 megapixel macro camera on it. And lastly, a 2 megapixel for depth sensing. So that's it, those were all the available cameras on this phone. And the phone features a huge 5000 mAh battery. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll quickly power them on, set them up, and be right back to continue the video. Alright guys, I'm back to continue the video. I've set up both these phones, the A12 on the left and A52 on the right, and they're up and running. So let me tell you my first impressions and you know, what do I feel about these devices when I hold them in the hand. First of all, let me tell you that both these phones come with a TFT LCD display. The A12 comes with a 720p display, while the A52 comes with a 1080p Full HD Plus display, something they call it as Neo display. See, this one was okay because this one was a budget phone, right? So that is understandable. But the A52 is a bit expensive. It's a mid-range category phone, right? Costing around 16,000 rupees. So I felt the brand should have given us something like an AMOLED panel. That would have been awesome. But again, see, when you look at it in your first glance, it's not that bad also. It's like decent. But you know, considering the competition, AMOLED would have been better. Uh, talking about the other things, as you might already know, Oppo phones come with Color OS, which is pretty nice. But the only thing is, these phones come with, you know, some unwanted bloatware apps uh, pre-installed on them. So I had to clean them, I had to remove them and, you know, keep the phone clean. Apart from that, if you talk about the general performance in terms of UI, app transitions, everything was smooth. I didn't face any issues. Over here, you've got the MediaTek Helio P35 CPU and the A52 is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 665. So that was about the performance. The main features that I felt were attractive on these phones were the cameras guys. This one has a dual camera setup while this one has an AI quad camera setup. So I'm assuming they'll give some good results because initial impressions when I opened up the camera and shot some pictures, they actually turned out pretty well. So I'll be putting them to a good test before I can make my full review. As you might already know, this is like a quick unboxing and first impressions on this phone, not a full review. That'll have to wait for some time because see I'll have to use these phones for a few days and then I'll be able to make my review on it. So in the review I'll talk about the display quality, how is that, we'll talk about the brightness and uh, we'll talk about the performance as well like uh, how do they perform in terms of gaming, normal day-to-day -day usage and then we'll go in depth about the cameras as well because as I've told you just now they look a bit promising and also they come with huge batteries guys both these phones so we'll talk about the battery life as well. So that is pretty much it guys. I don't want to extend this video anymore. Time to wrap it up. We'll go in depth about these phones and you know, give a review in a completely different video. You'll have to stay tuned for that. And also uh, about the earphones TWS, like which one do you want me to make a review first? Let me know in the comment section and I'll do that. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one.